What's up guys? Welcome back to Joe's Reef and in today's video I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Innovative Marine Aqua Gadget Mini Max uh, Media Reactor. Alright, so here we go. I'm going to be opening it. And I've obviously already have opened this and used it. So. But this is everything it came with. So you get the... It basically all comes together. I'll go in and... So it comes with the ring. The D-ring, it comes with the basically the media reactor we have here, and then it comes with the basically the tube, which is going to be you pump the water into, and then it comes with the pump. You can see here, and then it actually comes with the limited warranty here that you're going to have to go online. Uh, I believe it's either you fill it out by mail, or you go online and you fill that out. It's like a one-year warranty or six months. Um, but you guys can get a picture of that. And then it comes with the directions here as well in the box. It tells you how to set it up and how to do the maintenance for it. Uh, but it's an easy setup, so the, the first thing that's gonna happen is you get this ring, which is gonna go onto the back of the aquarium, which you would tighten, and then you get the tube, which is, attaches right here on the bottom of, to the pump, just like so. And then this it comes with the two sponges. You could grab the top off and twist it off. Take this little guy out of there and then add the media into there and then between the two sponges and then place this back on. And then this slides right into there. And then this thing as well, you can uh, loosen this little side piece not here and it's gonna hold it in place and then slide it right on. And you can actually adjust the height from this as well. And then you, if you want to keep it in place, just tighten it and then I'll hold it. Um, so yeah, I'll go in and put it on the aquarium so you guys can get a good look at how this looks. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so here's the ring. You basically just attach it right here to the side. I'm just putting it here for demonstration purposes. And then you would go ahead and tighten this uh, little screw right in the back of it. Just get it tight along the glass. Don't get it too tight because there's a chance you could crack the glass. And then once this is on, actually the easier way to do it would be take off the pump. Oh, I guess not. So you probably want to put this on first. Just tighten it. Loosen that. Put this over the top. Just like this. And then, so yeah, tighten that down, and then you can put the pump right onto the bottom here. And then, yeah, it's basically you can adjust this, tighten this down so it's not moving, just like that. You can pull this out when you want to replace the media. Um, also, when you twist this, you're, it's going to adjust the flow of the media as well. But yeah, pretty easy to use. Um, this one's this one's rated for more of the nano one for the 16 gallon. They also make two other big ones, one rated for a 30 and the full size, which I believe is rated for the 50 gallon. So here we go, guys. So this is what it would look back into the back of the my my tank, the Innovative Marine 30 gallon long. That's the tank that I got. Um, so I just want to go over some specs on this. So this, the actually the model is the um, 7301, the desktop one, which they is what they call it. This might be a little small for my tank, so I might have to go up to the bigger one. But the bigger one's basically pretty much the same thing, just a little larger. Um, so this one, like I say, they say it's compatible with the Nano 16. They also do have another item number with the 7302, what they call it, which is the Micro 30. Or the mini 38 so since I have the 30 gallon I might go towards more towards that and that one would do 92 gallons per hour um, and then it would have the max volume capacity of 350 milliliters the one in this tank is right now is 150 milliliters and it's doing 52 gallons per hour um, so yeah I'm gonna try it out in this tank see and see how it works and then do an update on that um, although if you do it have a little bit of a smaller system this one would definitely work great but we'll see how it works on my 30 gallon 
here. So until then, uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. Put it in down in the description down below. And if you guys are interested in the products, I'll go ahead and link that down as well in the description.